Hey guys, hey guys, and welcome to another Let's Play. Now, I alluded a little while ago that I wanted to play another game <laughs> involving a mansion. Gee, <laughs> I don't know if anybody saw this coming. Um, yes, yeah, so what's that? You've busted out a GameCube game, a Nintendo game? What is this heresy? Yes, Nintendo. Um, I'm not the biggest fan of Nintendo. I like them. Uh, I have some fantastic memories with Nintendo systems. I own a good chunk of Nintendo systems and Nintendo games. And I always said that I would never play them. Well, Sega fan said that. <laughs> He's not around anymore. Um, he said he would never play them because of all their bullshitty practices and whatnot. But you know what? Who cares? If they flag this video, they flag this video. Uh, I'm going to play this game because I love this game. Uh, this is one of my favourite games of all time, in fact, and it still holds up remarkably well today. Nintendo making a horror game with Nintendo characters, with Luigi and Mario? Ugh. How, mm. But it works. It worked really well. And I remember the hatred um, of this game when it first came out. People wanted a Mario game for the GameCube, but we got this instead. And I myself was sceptical. However, I did, basically at the end of the GameCube's life, pick one up. And I was full-on Xbox fanboy at the time. Uh, Dreamcast had died. And I remember I went to buy a game for my original Xbox. You know, back when pre-orders actually served a purpose. Um, because you could actually turn up on launch day and they might not have the game anymore. That doesn't happen anymore because you can just buy it on the, on the online store. Pre-orders these days are pointless. Um, apart from a few, I don't know, an extra skin or some, some more DLC. Or uh, Anyway, that's uh, a whole rabbit hole that we could go down. But yes, I went to buy a Xbox game. I can't remember what it was. And they didn't have it in stock on day one. Uh, but what they did have was a GameCube for the same price. <laughs> and GameCubes were... Uh, the games themselves had dropped drastically in price. And I remember I was looking at it and I was like, hmm. And it was a black GameCube as well, which obviously black, yay. And I was like, oh, god damn it, go on. I don't want to go home empty-handed. So I picked up a GameCube with, like, Luigi's Mansion, Legend of Zelda, Pikmin. Oh, my God, Pikmin. I love those games. Um, and a few others. I can't really remember it. I took it home. And I loved the thing. I, me and um, someone at the time sat down and we hammered it and hammered it and hammered it. And a while ago, I was going to uh, play through this for a Halloween episode. Uh, but at the time, Nintendo was being really, really shady. Uh, last year, we didn't have a Halloween episode because I moved here and we had no internet, even though I had the perfect game lined up. So this game also got a miss. And a few weeks ago, I dusted off my GameCube and I sat down and was like, right, I'm going to record this. And it doesn't read discs anymore. It worked perfectly last time I used it. Now it does not. Um, read discs. This is a big thing for me with backwards compatibility. This is why it's so important because these old machines break down and these old machines are getting very expensive. So here we are. I have my Wii uh, set up next to me. Uh, it is one of the original Wiis actually. The one I, I got way back in the day when it first came out, when the black ones first came out. And it's modded. So I can rip my GameCube games onto my PC, use a program, uh, wrap them up, put them on an SD card, and run them from an SD card. So I don't have to wear out my GameCube's drive. My uh, Wii U's also modded for the same reasons, because Wii U's are very expensive, and I would rather run the games off a hard drive than to wear the drive out. Anyway, uh, backwards compatibility, yo, important. Let's get into this. Um, I played this a little bit. 
over the last few days just to get re acclimatized to it and see if it's still going to grip me and <laughs> yes it does uh right so let's go to new file and jump straight in and here is our friend luigi or luigi as my missus calls him your mansion here hmm also this game still looks fantastic uh, Luigi milled, uh, milled bud. That looks a little bit suspect. All these graves everywhere. <laughs> this is a Nintendo game. Hmm, let's have a little look. So, apparently this is our mansion. How did you get this, Luigi? Family inheritance? Hmm. Well, I mean, it could certainly use a vacuum, that's for sure. And maybe some power. I have some weird voodoo holding that door shut. Yeah. I don't think we're going to be going through there. Okay, let's keep looking. Look at this dust in this place as well. Bloody hell. Could bust out the Henry. Oh, well, I guess we can't go that way. This game has so much charm to it as well, and it was an absolute showstopper uh, for a launch game. This really did show just how much more powerful the GameCube was than the PlayStation 2. Hmm, I guess we're not going that way. Uh oh, that way either. Look at that animation on Luigi. Nintendo detail, man. Alright, well, let's have a little look down here. Ooh. Well, that's ominous. Thing you don't see every day. Hmm. Well, thanks, Spooky Spectre, for the key. Alright, well... Don't look a gift horse in the mouth, Luigi. That <laughs> cheered him up, didn't it? All right, let's go uh, open this door. I'm guessing this key is for this door up here. Look at the lighting. Oh, my God. You got this, buddy. You got this. Hmm. <laughs> He's shitting himself. Ooh. Well, this is an interesting uh, coincidence. Looks like our ass has just been saved by some strange mutant man with a vacuum cleaner. <laughs> Oof. Don't think that went very well. Ouch. Oof. I sure take a lot of knocks in this line of work. Hey, friend. I'm getting too old for this ghost-catching tomfoolery. Uh-huh. Anyway, nice to meet you. I'm Professor E. Gad. This house, I swear, seems to have more ghosts every day. What's a young fella like you doing around here, anywho? This place is really ominous. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, this looks ugly. Not as ugly as you, my friend. All right, youngster, look lively. Follow me, post haste. Ah, oh, the music is so good. So, your name's Luigi. I think our paths were destined to cross. Well met, Luigi. Hmm. Where's this, you ask? Why, these cozy quarters are where I do my ghost studying. Professor E. Gad's Ghost Research Laboratory. The lab, if you are of a shortening mind. <laughs> hey, what are you implying? You won this mansion in a contest you didn't even enter? Sounds pretty fishy to me. Mm, you can tell he's a scientist. Nothing gets past him. Luigi, do you really buy that? 
So you believe the mansion actually exists then? Strange. Uh, Professor, we were just in the mansion. Do you not remember that? I know you took a knock to the head, but come on, man. I've been living here since I was a lad of 20 or so, and I'll tell you, that mansion appeared just a few days ago. The spirits have fooled you. I don't know if it's a dream, an illusion, or what. Oh, but I surely wouldn't be too happy winning a haunted house. Now that I get a look at you, I just recalled a guy with a red hat, kind of like yours, went up to the mansion without even stopping to chat. And he never returned. Was he a dream too? I think you need some more medication, Mr. Egad. That guy was your brother? Oh no, that's horrible. He wouldn't stand a chance against those ghosts without my help. You have to go after him. Here's the plan. I'll teach you to deal with ghosts so you can rescue your brother, Luigi. Yeah, that sounds like a plan. And here we have the controls. Right. Move Luigi from side to side. Oh. Let's... There we go, with side step, because that's what I know. That's the vacuum cleaner I engineered to catch ghosts. I call it, this is genius, the Poltergust 3000. It can suck up all kinds of things. Let her rip. Use the R button to vacuum and the C stick to change your direction. All right, we can do that. Yeah, okay. She works pretty nicely. All right, that works. No matter how strong you think your brother is, ghosts are mysterious beings. They can't be caught using conventional means. So, you better use this. It's the only way to foil them. This is the only thing they fear. Or something to that effect. <laughs> um, uh, well, how about we start your training? Ghosts seem to like darkness. And they avoid the light. So, if you hit them with a sudden flashlight beam all of a sudden, you can stun them momentarily. That's... Uh, then it's vacuuming time. When you see your chance, hold down the R button and tilt the control stick in the opposite direction. Just give it a try. You'll learn more that way than just listening to me yap about it. You got it, buddy. All right. Hey, friend. Oop. There we go. Get in the bag, boy. You're coming with me. Now, one thing, remember, as soon as you see a ghost heart, that's your chance to vacuum him up. While well, vacuuming, tilt the control stick in the opposite direction to bring them in. Yeah, one thing I will notice about this game is the depth perception is really hard. At least I find it hard. There we go. I find it very difficult to see where the ghosts actually are in relative 3D space in this game. I don't know why. When that surprise ghost heart appears, vacuum it with the R button and the control stick. Tilt the control... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dude, we know. You've just told us all this stuff. Right, okay. Ooh. There you go. Well, we've missed one. That's fine. Oof. Tilt the control stick. Yes, yes, yes. We we know what we're doing, Egad. You don't need to repeat every 30 seconds. All right, buddy. i got a feeling old Luigi here has done this before. Ghosts love to hide in dark places. Isn't that a hoot? Um, yeah. Here they come. All right. Well, let's try and get all these guys... Oh, well, get a few of them. There's one. Come on, you little bugger. You're coming with me. Ooh. Well, we didn't do that well. Catching ghosts means using the flashlight and the Poltergust 3000 as a team. You get me, young fella? That'll do. Well, how many did you get? Six ghosts. Well done, Luigi. That's not that great. Fine, fine. Looks like he works out quite a sweat here. How about a little cool down in the gallery? I'm quite proud of it, you know. Ah, uh, sure, why not? Off we go. Let's go have a little look at his gallery, shall we? Hmm. Well, his gallery's looking pretty empty to me, Gad. Looks like you've got a lot of work cut um, <clears throat> I've got a lot of work cut out for me. Looks like you've got lots of pictures. Or well, at least you've got lots of frames. <sighs> okay. Luigi, my friend, it's going to be a long night. Now we can tap things and inquire. We let out a little spurt of dust, which is interesting. I love the dust physics in this game as well. You really can, like, hoover up um, <laughs> lots of dust. And I'm somebody... 
I really like ASMR, white noise, vacuum cleaner sounds, hair dryers, stuff like that. It really helps me sleep. And this game, oh my god. <laughs> I've fallen asleep a few times to this game in the past. I remember I did try at one point to completely hoover a room full of dust, but obviously you can't do that. Now, we can suck up with this thing, but we can also expel with this thing as well. Which is, uh, well, that's going to come in useful a little bit later on. Look what happens when we examine these, though. Creepy-ass angel statues. They start flapping their wings. Hmm. All right, Egad, I've seen enough. Are you done appreciating art for today, Luigi? Uh, let's go back to the lab. All right, then. Where will you go, Luigi? Well, I think it's time to go back to the mansion. Careful now, Luigi. It's all right. I don't need to be careful. i got a vacuum cleaner. And I know how to use it, more or less. Now, visually, this game is stunning. Hey, Toad, what are you doing here, buddy? Hoo hoo hoo, where did you go, Mario? Wah, wah. Huh, Luigi? But, wow, it's Luigi, you finally made it. Oh, joy. Thank goodness. Me? Well, Princess Peach asked me to come here to look for Mario. He left when he heard that you'd won a mansion. And he never returned. Wait, so Mario buggered off to have a look at my mansion without even telling me. Okay. The, then I arrived here. The mansion was full of ghosts. And I didn't see Mario anywhere. I kind of freaked out a little. and I didn't know what to do. It's been awful. Please, please, please. You have to help me find Mario. If he doesn't get back, you have no idea how upset the princess will be. She'll flip. All right, leave it to me, buddy. We got this. Yay, thanks, Luigi. You made my dark and stormy night. Yeah, I wish I could do something to help you. Wait, I've got it. At least let me do this. Yep. Here's our typewriter, essentially. And whenever you find a toad, that's a safe room, I believe. Talk to me for help anytime. You're one of the best, toad. Right, now mirrors are quite important. If we use our Game Boy Horror here, which we can use to examine things, uh, if we shoot a mirror... Oh, you know, I've never noticed how lovely those red polka dots look on top. Uh, okay, Luigi, that's curious. I could gaze at one of these for hours. Yeah, he does say a lot of funny things, but uh, <laughs> we're not going to pay him too much heed. Anyway, if we shoot a mirror, it will return us to this foyer. Which is quite cool. And how awesome is this Game Boy Horror? What a cool little touch. Again, typical Nintendo touch. They they do love their fan service. They really do. Okay. Let's have a little look around here. And all the little details. Like you can put out the candles and whatnot by um, sucking them up. We can actually light candles and things later on as well. We do get some more powers with this thing, which is quite cool. Um, I haven't played the second game. Or the third game. I really wish they were all on one console, but alas, that's uh, not the way it's going to go. At least yet. Now, all this money that's laid around, all these coins, we can collect these, obviously, as you just saw. Now, the only thing the coins really do, they're basically points. If they do anything else, I don't know about it. But this is why you want to interact with everything you can, because look, money! Money! Look at all the dust in this place as well. Jesus, that must be some serious Hoover capacity in the Poltergeist 3000. Ghosts and dust. And you know, the, the dust physics are actually really impressive still. Alright, well, let's uh, get to work, Luigi. It's hoovering up coins. Ooh, coins and notes. Wow, oh, there we go. It's like Crystal Maze all over again, if anyone remembers that program. There we go. Now, every room has uh, an issue, or at least most rooms have some kind of haunting, and it's up to us to... Luigi's just humming to himself to try and calm his nerves. <laughs> it's so cool. Um, yeah, so every room, pretty much, has a haunting, and it's up to us to try and work out what we need to do. What a dreadful picture, but that candle next to it might be important. Yeah, maybe. Let's try putting these candles out, shall we? There we go. 
Who put out my candles? You, Mr. Lime Green. Well, dark rooms are dangerous around here. Yes. They love the dark. And now they will get you, Blue Hair. You are in for it now, Blue Hair. Just like the red cat before you. The red cat? May you wander lost in the darkness forever. Are you afraid of the dark, little man? Are you, huh? Blah, <laughs> here they are now. All right, come to Papa Luigi. You're not as hardcore as you think you are. I have a vacuum cleaner, and I know how to use it. All right, Luigi. Just follow my instructions, me brother. And everything's going to be fine. Who's next? Anybody? Surrender yourselves to me. Come on, friend. Get in the bag. Your soul is mine. And when you clear the uh, room, you get a chest. And most of the time, the chest contains a key. Right. Nice. Okay. And it will always show you what uh, door the key's used for. And look at this map we get in the Game Boy Horror. Um, it's very nice. I like the way it's a crystal edition as well. <laughs> because of course it is. Right, let's keep going. I'm sure Mario's around here somewhere. Now, this game isn't especially long. Which is a shame. Yeah. Mm, the ante room, eh? Oof. Come here. Quite enough of that. That could have hurt. Now, essentially... Ooh, we've got a different ghost here. A little bit tougher. Essentially, there are... We have 100 health, uh, as we can see by the big heart. Uh, if that reduces to zero, Luigi passes out and freaks out. Ooh, you little sod. Excuse me. Yeah, you also lose money if you get hit, which is a little bit on the sucky side. But you do get a little bit of time to actually re uh, pick up that money that does come out, kind of like Sonic, you know. There we go, when you lose all the coins. I might try the other control layouts. Try standard. Yeah, I think I'm going to prefer standard, actually. Ooh, come to Papa. And that fella dropped a heart. Give me that. Hearts, I believe, restore like 10. You can get bigger hearts as well. Yeah, I, I prefer that. The sidestep's really weird. Alright, let's have a little look. See if we can find some more coins. Well, there's a heart. I mean, sure. Anything else? So, I remember when we first uh, got this, actually, I took it at home. And, uh, yeah, we finished this game in one sitting, so it can't be a very long game. Uh, I'm not sure what it has in regards to secrets and stuff. I know there's a alternative mansion that you can unlock, which is just the same thing, but mirrored. Hmm. Ah, someone's got some funky dress here. Well, that's fine. Oh, hey, friend. Come to Daddy. Come on. There we go. Alright, these orange ghosts don't seem to be too much. Oh, God, hello. Green fella. Look at him throwing bananas at us. I don't think Kong's going to be too happy about that. Come here. Oi, it's quite enough of that, you little bugger. Come on. Oh, I've got you. No, shit. Oh, God damn it. Slipped on a bloody banana skin. You think that's funny, do you, pal? Well, you're going away forever. There's another one of those. Oh, God. Got them both. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Baby, we got a double. Oh, shit. <laughs> we almost almost got a banana skin to the face. Come here, you. Those things are dangerous, apparently. Oops. Missed him. Alright. There we go. We got him padlocked. Get in the bag. Yes, yeah, so there's worse things than... Yeah. You lot around here, that's for sure. Alright. Well, we've got a key. Let's just have a little check for some treasure. We can suck the keys down as well, which is cool. Luigi. Nice work. Yeah, my missus always calls him Luigi. Uh, she's actually French. 
And so some of her English words were uh, quite funny. Um, yeah, and she used to call elites elites as well from Halo. It's, uh, <laughs> I used to love that. Uh, right, now let's keep going. Mm-hmm. Oh, a toad. Hello. Hey, toady. Wow, wow. Mario, where are you? Oh, Luigi? Yes, Luigi. How lucky that you found me. I feel so much better now. Welcome back, little toad. I can't find him. Where is he? Don't you worry about it. Don't you worry about it. We got this. I'm sure we'll find him before too long. All right. Nope, doesn't look like there's any goodies around here. Is there any, like, money up here? Any money in the chandelier? Nope, it doesn't look like it. Well, I'll tell you one thing, uh, Luigi. You might have lost your brother. And maybe we can find him. Maybe not. Maybe he's lost to the ghouls forever. But you're going to come out of this a fairly wealthy chap. That's for sure. Nope, nothing. Anything up here? At least we'll be able to buy... The amount of money we're going to find around here. We're going to be able to buy the bloody castle. Kick the princess out. Yes. Yes. And for all those years, they laughed at us. They laughed at Luigi being the underdog. Well, no longer. Huh? Hold up a sec, Luigi. It's me, Professor Egad. I detect spirits stronger than what we've seen yet lurking ahead. I think it must be some of those escaped gallery ghosts. You should know that they're really different from the other ghosts you've seen so far. They don't show their hearts very easily. Nope, not at all. When you find one, you should use the X button to search for its search its heart for clues. Sometimes you can learn the best way to surprise them. Well, Luigi, I'll keep my fingers crossed for you. Hmm, right, you gad. Thanks for the tip. You seem to know quite a lot about these ghosts. Right. Anyway, guys, I mean, we're basically... Nah, it's fine. I was going to say, we're basically on half an hour, but I think we'll keep going for now. Ooh, we have little ghost mice. Well, that won't do. Little ghosty buggers. Get in the bag. Now, notice how most doors vibrate when we hoover them. This door is not vibrating when we hoover it. And if we look on the map, this door... Yeah. This door isn't even on the map. So that is a fake door. We need to be very careful of those. Hmm. Well, this looks nice. The study. I like it. Ooh. Whoever was living in the study had some money. Well, it's our money now. Let's just hope this isn't Monopoly money. Also, books are flying at us, which is a little bit on the ominous side. Let's try and hoover up all these damn books. There we go. Right, come out, spirit. Evil demon. Hmm. Hmm. Hello, sir. Ho, ho, ho. Go ahead. Try to find me. I can see you, but you cannot see me. Ho, ho, ho. Oh, really? Me pedigree chum. We will soon see about that. Alright, so we have to look away from him. We have to wait. Let's just watch him. He'll slip up sooner rather than later. Ha-ha! <laughs> now, what do you think of that? Get in the bag. You're coming with me. You're going to be a painting. Uh oh Watch out for the little shrooms. They turn you into... Uh, little Mario. Little Luigi, I should say. Uh, well, at least we can pick up these pearls or whatever these things are meant to be. They're worth a lot of money, those pearls. Is he going to say anything now we've already, like, beasted him? No, he's going to say the same thing. Dude, we've just literally annihilated most of your health. I'm just saying. Come on. Come on, my ghosty friend. There we go. Right, get in the frickin' bag. None, no more of your mushrooms this time. There we go. Job done. Right, let's see if we've got any other loot around here. Doesn't look like it. Well, we can hoover up the fire. I'm not sure that's that good for this thing, but hey. I suppose the Poltergust 3000 is some kind of magical wonder 
that he, well, scientific wonder actually that Yad has worked up for us. Okay. Really ain't a lot here, is there? Disappointing. Hmm. No, I guess we won't be buying the castle anytime soon. All right, let's have a look. I'm guessing we've got a key. Mario ain't here, man. There we go. So we've got another key. Hmm. Okay. Nice. And I really do like this map. It is fantastic. It's a really well thought out map. And anyway, guys, on that note, let's go see Toad. We're going to go save the game. Now, there's no penalties for saving the game. Uh, we don't run out of ink ribbons or run out of toads or anything like that. Uh, as long as we can get to a toad, we can save it. Well, this is about all I can do for you. But, thanks, toad. You're one of the good ones. And you can see we have not managed to get any money so far. Now, one of the things that I do like, or we have no money in the bank, I should say. One thing I do like about the Wii as well is the fact that you can just plug your GameCube controller straight into it and your OG memory card straight into it, and it just works. Such a wonderful bit of backwards compatibility. Very similar, actually. <laughs> uh, the way they did the Wii um, was very similar to how Sony did backwards compatibility on the um, PlayStation 2. It just works. It's just compatible with all your peripherals. It's, oh, what? God damn it. Why? <laughs> why Why have they dropped the ball so so hard on backwards compatibility? Especially Sony. I'm looking at you, Sony. You screwed up hardcore. You were the leader of backwards compatibility as well. PlayStation 2 was faultless, kind of. There were, there were a couple of titles that didn't work, but, you know, it was mainly there. And then, of course, you had bloody PlayStation 3 when that first came out that fucking played everything. Ah, that went downhill from there. Anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching. Uh, I hope you're going to enjoy this game with me. I'm really looking forward to this.